So for this example, we continue building the truth tables for these compound statements. So for this compound statement, we could see we have if Shannon majors in political science, then she will be eligible for a job at the consulate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract out the simple statements out of this compound statement here. Hopefully we can see that this is an if then. We have an if and a then. So this is a conditional statement. So P can be Shannon. majors in political science. And Q will be Shannon is eligible for a job at the consulate. Now your interpretation of the simple statements don't have to be exact as they are maybe in the compound statement and vice versa. As long as you get an idea of what statement is the, is the, is the first simple statement and what statement is the second simple statement. But we do know that this is an if then. So that is going to be written as P and remember we use that arrow, if Q, if P, then Q is how that's pronounced. And if we remember, the only time this compound statement is true is when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. That occurs right here. The antecedent is true and the consequent is false. This is when it's false. Other than that, it's true. So this is the truth table for the compound statement, if Shannon majors in political science, then she will be eligible for a job at the consulate.